What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here, and I hope you're having a great day today. Look at that banana suit. We gotta get that one. Oh, actually, it's the anti-banana disguise. I see. Anyway, guys, welcome to this video. We're playing Top Run here today, which is a brand new platforming game with an amazing retro 80s art style and music. And it has been made by just a two-man team, a husband and wife indie team, actually. So, of course, I had to check it out here today in my mobile gaming quest, where I cover a new mobile game every single day from Monday till Friday. So, beneath all of this 80s goodness, and I really love the music, by the way, is, at the end of the day, just an endless runner, really. You have to get as far as you can, and then you die, and then you can go in and you can buy some cosmetic items. And I'm really not trying to undersell the game here, because it's an amazing game. But at the end of the day, it is just an endless runner. There's so much on top of it, though, and that's what makes the game so great. Oh, we died already! So I guess I can go show you guys that now, since we died very, very early on here. So let's see, we did zero dashes. We're completing some quests here, some objectives, in order to level up and unlock the higher difficulty levels, which we do at level 6, and then again at level 12. So let's go back to town now, because we have some new stuff that we can unlock. I think maybe a new skin? Yes, so for 7,500 pixels, we can choose to get a new skin. So guys, hopefully we're gonna get that banana suit. Let's have a look at it. Because this game is just so difficult, but maybe with the new skin, we'll do better. So did we get this werewolf Kevin? Is that it? I think we got werewolf Kevin. So now we have to save up. He's kinda cool, but I was really hoping for this banana. I really wanna get the banana. So let's go back into one more level, and then maybe we'll have enough pixels after that one, or at least just maybe a few more levels. Uh, we'll have 7,500 again. Apart from that, of course, we can also spend these pixels on buying upgrades. So these are upgrades for the power-ups that appear randomly in-game from time to time, such as, for example, the enemy freeze. Really useful, so I'm gonna upgrade that, which I now realize means that it'll take a bit longer <laughs> before we have enough for another cosmetic upgrade. It's all about getting enough pixels, and I figured that by upgrading the freeze power, maybe that will be a bit easier because we won't die as often, hopefully. So let's talk a bit about the controls because they have to be really tight in order for a platforming game to feel absolutely amazing. And in this game, they are pretty well made. My main complaint really is that if we tap two fingers on the screen at the same time, then the game pauses. And I now realize as I'm playing now that I actually did that wrong. I should have just used one finger because you can actually control the game with just a single finger. Me, personally, I've just been using two fingers, one on the left side to swipe up to do a jump, or swipe up twice to do a double jump, and then one finger on the right side to do an attack. But I realize now that I should have probably just used one finger, so maybe that's a tip for you guys, because as you guys can see right now, if we tap two fingers, we actually pause the game. So let's see what our objectives are. We have to dash 20 times, visit bodies parallel universe, I don't really know how we do that, and then run 400 meters without collecting power-ups. I guess we can try to do that last one. So let's make sure to actually shoot these guys, and then try to get 400 meters without collecting any power-ups. Okay, so now we want to avoid them. We want to avoid everything, basically. The jump, no, no. It's so unforgiving. It's so unforgiving. I did jump. I did jump there, guys. Anyway, very, very soon, we will run into my main complaint about this game, apart from the double tapping that actually pauses the game, which is the energy system, because yes, there's an energy system. I'm so sorry, guys. I know you don't like energy systems. I don't either. We have 10 lives in this game, and then once those are used, we have to wait five minutes to get one extra token, they're called. Or we can go in and we can actually buy for one US dollars an inner purchase that removes all of these tokens, which I think is a fair way to monetize but I would much rather see more advertisements and then not have this energy system. But maybe, maybe that's just me. And you guys know me, I do really encourage you guys to spend your money on indie games if you want to spend money at all. But you can play the game for free, you just have to live with the fact that there's an energy system. But apart from this, we can unlock the full game, which means every cosmetic in-game, everything really, for just 7 US dollars. So that's what you'll be looking at if you want to have all of these awesome skins in here, and they really do look great. There's so many references to 80s and 90s movies. Look at this one here, Inspector Kevin, instead of Inspector Gadget. I, I just love it. It's really great, and the same goes for our bodies over here. <laughs> look at the puck. I love that. And what do we have here? Queen's buddy! Okay. Shiba! Shiba! <laughs> yes, I need the Shiba! I need the Shiba! Okay, I need more pixel tokens now. Just realized I need more pixel tokens. I don't think we can actually buy more pixel tokens through in-app purchases, so we do have to play the game. Hardcore, I gotta say. They could have done that. They could have sold me could have sold me pixels within the game, but I guess, you know, instead they opted for allowing me to buy the pet I want directly instead for a single US dollar, which is actually even more fair, I guess. So let's pick up- No! No! <laughs> we shouldn't have picked up a power-up. That's what we just said just before. No power-ups for 400 meters. That is one of the objectives. After we're done with this run here, though, we're gonna get to the mobile gaming news of the day, but first, I just wanna see if we can actually get 400 meters 
without collecting a power up. So, oh, 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 I hope that doesn't count as a power up. Please let that count not as a power up. Did we die? No, we got mind blowing telekinetic abilities. Something, something. Oh, I know this. I know this. The floor is lava, right? No lava? Well, I'll tell you guys, sometimes the floor becomes lava, but I guess that didn't happen this time. Don't know why, but you guys will just have to go play the game for yourselves to know what the heck is Nimble Thor really talking about here. So now, for the mobile gaming news of the day, I have something really interesting, because some of you may know that South Korean developer and publisher Nexon is up for sale. They're the guys that made Maple Story and many other games, really. And now we've got news that Kakao might be ready with a $5 billion offer for the company. Yes, Kakao, the chat app developer, pretty crazy and a really big investment for Kakao as well. I mean, they have been investing into gaming and into the esports scene, but $9 billion, that is a really big investment. I've heard, though, that Nexon was really worried about having to sell to Chinese developers instead, such as, for example, Tencent. So maybe they'll be willing to sell to another South Korean company to keep Nexon within South Korea. I guess there's a bit of a battle going on there between China and South Korea in terms of who has the biggest games industry, I guess. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to hear what you also think about this game. But most importantly, until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.